Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, has taken the oath of office and announced his cabinet nominations. Rouhani formally replaced Mahmoud Ahmadinejad after being sworn in during an open session of parliament. He urged Western states to drop the language of sanctions in dealing with Iran, saying dialogue is the proper way to settle issues. The inauguration ceremony was led by country's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, and those attending included members of the Iran's parliament, along with representatives and leaders from 56 countries. Meanwhile, Rouhani nominated uh, Iran's former ambassador to the United Nations, Mohammad Javad Zarif, as foreign minister. He also paid Bijan Zenganad to return to the post of oil minister. Rouhani's cabinet nominations must be approved by parliament. The Speaker of Parliament said that the Assembly will review the nominees in the next week. Rouhani won a landslide victory in the presidential election on June 14th, putting an end to the Ahmadinejad era, which was marked by high tensions with the West. Now, in response, the United States said it is prepared to work with the new Iranian government to address concerns about Iran's nuclear program if Iran will engage seriously on this issue. White House spokesperson Jake Carney said the inauguration of President Rouhani presents an opportunity for Iran to act quickly to resolve concerns over its nuclear program.